if you're looking for different parks in the Charlotte area, there is a beautiful one called Can Creek Park, which is in Waxhaw, which is just south of the city of Charlotte. Stay tuned as I take you on a tour now. Hi, I'm Shane Goyne, a real estate agent with eXp Realty here in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to the channel so that you can receive videos every Thursday with information about the Charlotte area. So over Thanksgiving weekend, my family and I went out to Cane Creek Park, which is a place we love to visit. There's so much to do at Cane Creek Park, uh, and I'll go over that with you in a minute. But a lot of people don't know about the park, so I wanted to make sure I took a video, was able to show you everything that they have to offer. I apologize about some of the lighting in some of the clips, but it was such a beautiful day. This just couldn't get away from the sun. So the sun will be in some of the pictures and videos, but I uh, apologize for that. I wanted to make sure we got all the aspects we could for you. Cane Creek Park has many different things to do. As you can see from this map, the park is huge. It covers over a thousand acres and has a big 350 acre lake for boating, canoeing, kayaking, and fishing. There is a boat ramp where you can actually launch your own boats. This lake allows motorized boats as well as you can rent pontoon boats from the park itself. I will get into prices a little bit later in the video. There are actually two ramps here and a parking lot right next to the ranch, which makes it very convenient when you want to launch your own boat and you can come and go as you please. From March to October, you can rent paddle boats, canoes, and kayaks. My family and I actually love to rent the paddle boats and we will actually bring our dog as this is a very pet friendly park. Here's the dock where you'll actually get those paddle boats and canoes and, and you'll just pay for a certain amount of time limit and you to use them. Right next to the dock for the boats is a beach that you can use and it has a small admission fee. This is the only area where swimming is allowed on this side of the park and they usually have a lifeguard there as well. In front of the beach is a miniature golf course that you can enjoy. What is nice is that most of the activities are in one central location as you can see here. You have the dock for the boats, the beach miniature golf course, and a picnic shelter all in one location. Just around the corner you will see two buildings. The one building on the right is where the restrooms are and the building on the left I believe is used at different events. Behind this building are picnic tables and a playground which overlooks the lake. It's a really beautiful view. If you love fishing, there are plenty of areas that you can fish on the lake. If you do not have your fishing license, you can get a temporary one here at the park up at the Welcome Center. You will usually see people fishing off the dock, the banks of the lake, or even off the canoes and boats. You can also buy worms here at the Welcome Center at the front of the park if you need to. There is also an amphitheater here for different concerts and events. It looks over the lake, so it's a really great view from here. The park has paved trails that you can walk on, and you have the picnic shelters that you can run as well. There are also picnic tables that already have grills right next to them, so you don't have to worry about bringing a grill yourself, and you can just enjoy the view of the lake while you have a picnic. You can easily spend the whole day here and enjoy everything they have to offer. There are also dirt trails throughout the whole park and around the lake. So if you want to get a few extra steps in and not be on a paved trail the whole way, you definitely get your exercise doing that. You have the woods on one side here and then the lake on your right. Very peaceful setting. Like I said before, it's a very pet friendly park. They also allow you to bring your horses if you own any and enjoy the trails while you go horseback riding. In addition to everything else I've mentioned here, they also have your baseball slash softball fields and soccer fields that you can rent if you want to set up a game or something. Since there is so much to do at this park, you might want to stay on the grounds. They have campgrounds where you can bring your RVs and they also have cabin rentals, but as you can see from the gate on the right, they are currently closed, so I couldn't tour them for you. It is a long road to get to the campground, which is great because that means it is private and tucked away. This Thanksgiving weekend was crowded. As you can see, it is pretty full. This is located on the other side of the lake from the playground area that I showed you earlier, but they also have a playground on this side for the kids as well. 
The campground is right off the lake and they also have a camp store just in case you need anything. Now for the pricing. As you can see here, the prices are decent. And to get into the park with your vehicle is only $4. And then if you want to do any of the various activities such as mini golf, the beach, etc., it's only $2 per person. Definitely check out the pricing list on Cane Creek's website. I've put the link for that below in the description. If you're ever in the area, I highly recommend that you visit this park and make a day of it. If you enjoyed this park tour, please hit that thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day and take care.